Hi, and welcome to another Sealed in Time production, where we bring historical photos to life. Please consider leaving a like and a comment, letting us know which photo is your favorite. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell to be notified whenever a new video is posted. Thanks for watching, and as always, enjoy the show. In this image, you see the CSS Stonewall, an ironclad vessel weighing 1,390 tons. Commissioned by the Confederate Navy in 1864, it was built by a shipyard in Bordeaux, France. This gentleman hired the traveling photographer to capture a family portrait in their 1911 side yard. The stewardesses of Pan American Airways have finished their training for 1954 and are now making their way back into the terminal building to commence their duties. In this photograph from the winter of 1920, a sled laden with logs is making its way towards the lumber mill, the culmination of a bustling day for the logger spent cutting and loading timber. This charming young lady was among the 13 guests who graced the photographer's studio on that Thursday in the spring of 1908. On a momentous day in 1936, New York City was abuzz with excitement as a plethora of local ships, ferries, and boats gathered to partake in the festivities. A youthful woman stepped into the photographer's studio, seeking to capture a lasting image before embarking on her journey to university in 1910. In 1939, San Augustine, Texas, Sherman Clovis toils away in his workshop, meticulously repairing a worn pair of boots brought in by a local store owner. As a skilled shoe repairman, he takes pride in his craft, ensuring each stitch is precise and every sole is securely fastened. Adirondack mountain guide extraordinaire Jimmy Goodwin pauses amidst his bustling schedule to savor a moment of tranquil reprieve by the serene shores of a New York state lake. Two women were at odds over what kind of pet to bring into their lives. Seeking resolution, they ventured into a quaint pet emporium from the 1920s hoping to find clarity amidst the charming array of creatures. Catherine Burt gained recognition for her roles in Crooked Road and The Stained Pearl, alongside her notable stint as a Ziegfeld girl. Three female companions received invitations to an 1896 Dolly Madison breakfast and resolved to commemorate the event by having a portrait captured showcasing the exquisite dresses they had tailored for the occasion. A group of men stroll past the iconic Times building, pausing to take in the latest headlines displayed outside the historic 1910 New York Times building in Manhattan. Pocket Money, a 1972 American Western comedy, features the dynamic duo of Lee Marvin and Paul Newman as captured in this promotional image. On a balmy Saturday afternoon, a snapshot captures the 1945 Bristol 
High School Drama Club members basking in the aftermath of their end-of-year production. In 1935, the photographer skillfully documented the diligent efforts of the U.S. Coast Guard ship as it undertook tasks of cleaning, repair, and electrical maintenance on an ocean buoy. The ideal bread wagon came to a halt, stuck in the mud within Toronto's Earls Court neighborhood back in 1916. The photographer made an unexpected visit to the Gunnett family residence and discovered that all of them were present on this brisk spring afternoon in 1902. Peggy Shannon kick-started her journey as a Ziegfeld chorus girl in 1923 before transitioning to Broadway. She later secured a contract with Paramount Pictures stepping into the spotlight as a replacement for the iconic Clara Bow, famously known as the It Girl. This transition materialized in the film The Secret Call of 1931, where Peggy Shannon assumed Bow's role. When Marion Davies, an American actress, producer, and screenwriter, was 19 years old, she met William Randolph Hearst, the 53-year-old newspaper tycoon, and eventually became his mistress. A photograph captured by George Koenig depicts a bustling book sale amidst the vibrant atmosphere of El Rastro in 1950. This open-air flea market, situated in Madrid, Spain, stood as the pinnacle of popular gatherings during that era. The photographer snapped a shot of the Russell O. McGee instrumental group during their practice break as they geared up for their evening presentation. The model and occasional actress during the 1950s Carrie Radisson was the Playboy Playmate of the Month for June of 1957. The sidewalk outside the entrance to the Pennsylvania Railroad Ticket Office bustles with activity on this balmy summer day in 1910 Brooklyn, New York. Wally Kilminster who once held the New Zealand land speed record at an impressive 107 miles per hour, now finds solace in a foam bath alongside his loyal dog within the historic 1934 dressing rooms of Wembley Stadium in London, England. The farmers labor in the barley field, diligently harvesting. Amidst their toil, they pause occasionally craving a refreshing sip of water and the necessity of sharpening their 1888 equipment. During a 1959 White Plains, New York tour, stands a country crooner, Johnny Cash, patiently awaiting his introduction. In 1965, Stephen William Hawking and his wife, Jane Wilde, were captured in a moment frozen in time. Hawking, an English theoretical physicist, cosmologist, and acclaimed author, held the position of Director of Research at the Center for Theoretical Cosmology at the University of Cambridge until his passing. After completing their lunch, the students of Washington, D.C.'s Tech High School in 1936 are assembling in the school's research room. In 1933, this image, 
captures Primo Carnera, the Italian heavyweight champion in boxing and wrestling, alongside the actress Jane Harlow. Carnera's legacy boasts an impressive record of knockout victories, a feat unparalleled by any other heavyweight champion in boxing history.